Hey everybody, it's Rosie here for Astrophotography and you know what, today I'm unboxing a new goodie because I've been absolutely fed up with getting caught out by the weather forecast. You know, it says it's gonna be cloudy all night and then you check at 11 o'clock and it's clear and it's a work night, but it's just far too late to set the big main rig up. And this happened a few nights and like I said, I'm just so fed up with not having a quick grab and go rig. So with that in mind, I went off and got myself an Ioptron Skyguider Pro for those grab and go moments. So, let's unbox this, shall we? All right, let's go then. I've already in done the tape. So it's time to open the box. Quick start guide. Package contains online resources. We'll get around to that later. That looks fancy. Look at this, check this out. Look how fancy this all is. So that's obviously the sky guider in there. Some fixings, counterweight, etc. But but we'll get to that when we get to it. Can't remember what focal length I was at now. So as I always do, I'm gonna leave that until last actually. Let's see what we got. An Allen key and some Allen bolts. Why is it trying to focus on my hand? It's an Allen key and some Allen screws. Let's actually try and make this look a bit presentable. Next. Oh, nice, a USB cable. Next up, this must be the actual, um, what is this called? What would this be called? So what would this be called then? I think this is the declination mountain bracket with deck camera mountain block. Rolls off the tongue, that does. Oh, the USB is a charging cable, of course. This has got an inbuilt lithium battery. So... So there's that. Next up, the counterweight. Comes and done already. So this is... 1.35 kilograms or 3 pounds. So that's the counterweight bar. So this is the Vixen style dovetail bracket. This must be where those Allen bolts are for. And so that must bolt into here, I'm guessing, or into this top side. Depends where the counterweight goes. All that will be answered once I submit and read the instructions. Actually, it looks like this comes undone there. You know, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is a Vixen bracket to attach small telescopes. And finally, get rid of the box. And finally, of course, the Sky Guider. Nice little package container. This bag is not a toy. There it is, there's the Sky Guider. Has a bit of a plasticky feel to it, to be honest. I mean, this casing here is metal, but there's a lot of plastic feeling components. But you know what? <laughs> I'm not gonna let that take this away from me. This looks cool. This really is quite small. Maybe not handheld size. I have pretty big hands, to be fair, but Look at that, that's cool. So one thing you probably have noticed is this is the this is the normal Sky Guider. This is the one without the eye polar in it. I didn't want to pay for the eye polar. I see no reason why I can't just polar line with the top with the polar scope. And the other main reason behind it was so I didn't get the version with the eye polar for well, first of all, it was a lot more expensive and I didn't want to pay for it. And secondly, I was after um I was after a rig that is really quick to set up. Like I said, I was getting fed up of getting caught out with the weather, right? So if I had the iPolar on it, then suddenly I need to get my laptop outside as well, connect it, and it was just it just seemed like a lot more fuss than I than I was aiming for, that, than what I wanted. 
So instead I got the, the version without the iPolar. I don't see any reason why I can't just use the polar scope, but we'll see in practice. I mean, I know it's an upgrade, it's a retrofitted part. I can upgrade it if I really decide I want the iPolar in it, but I just wanted to keep it basic. I don't even think I'm gonna try and guide with it at the start. I just wanted something quick, grab and go. And that's what I'm hoping with this. So let's take another look at the Sky Guider Pro. Let's have a look at the back here. So at the back, we've got the guide port. This is an ST4 type port, which is awesome. The camera thing, I believe this is snap cable, so we can control this otherwise. Well, you can control the camera using the Sky Guider. The USB point for powering it and charging it. And HBX, I believe is for hand controller. It looks like a hand controller port. I believe there is a hand controller for this item but I didn't get it and I don't even think remember remember first light optics having it but it would be through the hand controller that you would control the snap port which would control the camera on the top we've got the different tracking rates we've got solar lunar half sidereal one time sidereal and standby and power something like that I'm not too sure I need to read the book for these but the main important ones are solar lunar side reel and the two side reels 1x side reel is what you're probably going to be what I'm going to probably be using all the time because I'm going to use this as a deep sky tracker half side reel I think people use that for starscapes when they want to capture some of the foreground as well as the background and lunar and solar are self-explanatory okay turn it on the middle button changes tracking rate and then these two buttons moves it in right ascension. Can you see that? It's really slow. These let you find control in right ascension. So the Sky Guider only uh, tracks in right ascension, that's the most important. Declination is addressed with polar alignment, for example. But normally for the focal lengths you're using with these kind of things, polar alignment should be fine and then a bit of guiding if necessary. Altitude and azimuth adjustment for making, for doing your polar alignment. And speaking of polar alignment, I believe, I'll take this off. Yep, there it is. Oh God, you need little fingers to get in there. That is not so good for me. I'm water. There we go. God, that's really difficult for me. So that's one end of the polar scope. There's the other end of the polar scope. This is the normal connector. If you want to just put a photo ball head on it. But like I said, I'm probably going to be using this bracket. So let's start building this up. So I've unscrewed this. This now looks like it wants to go on that way. You can tell that it's moved in right ascension actually. One thing they say is what you could do is if I take the polar scope plug out again, this is going to be a problem. You can pop that in there. There we go. This is very clearly upside down. So if you undo that there, move it quite quickly and lock it again so I'm gonna put a ball head on it I've decided the plan with this was to use it with camera lenses and not a small telescope which I don't actually own at this point so if I put a ball head on it it means it's ready to go I just put this onto a tripod put the ball head on it can camera on we're ready to go and now I'll attach the counterweight bar Sans counterweight. I'm guessing I'm going to need the counterweight, but it's going to take a bit of testing. I need to find the other ball head. Where did I put the other ball head? Like my my cupboard downstairs is a complete mess, so <laughs> I'll find one. If not, I'll just buy another one.
and let's see it moving by right ascension. It's going very slowly. So that's what it's like to unbox an iOptron Skyguider Pro and it's very exciting. I'm very looking forward to getting this on the tripod and out under the sky. Need to get myself some filters ready for it, clipping filters. But yeah, hopefully you'll see this more in, in videos coming up. Thanks very much for watching everybody. Hope you have a good day. Keep looking up, keep them cameras clicking. I'll see you later.